hey, well, this is part five, and we're going to do an if-else statement with a string. So we're going to complete a function that takes in one parameter, a string representing a password, determines whether the password is longer than eight characters long. Uh, probably don't need long. Probably just need the password is longer than eight characters. And returns a specific string for each case. Your function should use an if-else statement to determine if the input string is long enough, and if it is, should return the string password is long enough. And if it is not, should return the string, please enter a password of at least nine characters. Below are examples of the code running. <coughs> Excuse me. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, password long enough. The drill at this point should be well familiar with you, to you, with you, by, definitely not by you, but it should be familiar. So we're going to copy all of that, get our stubs in there, and I am going to wrap the pseudocode around this one just because, well, I didn't last time and I felt kind of bad. And you figure that ideally pseudocode goes one line for one line. So that's why we're wrapping it around this way. This otherwise refers to the else. This if refers to this if portion. And each time the pseudocode is above the line of code that describes what that pseudocode wanted to have happen. So we need to check the length of the password. And it needs to be greater than 8. In the event that it is, we're going to return password is long enough. Otherwise, we're going to enter or not enter, we're going to return, please enter a password of at least nine characters. Excellent. So let's run this. For the first one, we should get long enough. The second one, we should get, please enter a password of at least nine characters. We do. Uh, okay, yeah, we do. Um, let's copy our completed function, bring it back to the input window, run the tests, and we're in good shape. Excellent work, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.